Okay, I got this hole punch. I'm gonna be uh, grinding it down. Hard to get it, really. get it set up we'll do the hole punch and we'll do this too these are the punches for the uh, the threading and I have different uh, prongs let me so show you here well I got several of them there you go that's two there Oh, I got one on my drill press. Okay, I put the hole punches on there first. This is what you punch in, and I was using a hammer. You see there, I'm going to file that down too. Take my little practice piece right here of leather, and then I got my lever up here, and what I'm going to do is just kind of go down on it. I'll be darned. See that? already practice you gotta you gotta rehearse video sometimes but let me do it again let me do it uh right here on this side you'll see okay this is four prongs and like i said when you get down corners i'm not a pro at it but yeah that's gonna be the perfect size for me on my slips that thread's got the needle's gonna go in that just awesome what i was using at first let me see if I can find them. I'm trying to show you what a pain it was. Here we go. This is my $9 leather sheet. I mean, leather tool thing. Which is fine, because uh, now that I know that I like it, that's why I bought that inexpensive $10 leather sheet. This is what I've been using, guys. And it is rough. It's rough. It tears up the leather, too. But see, it's just prongs, and I'm using my hammer and just punching a hole, and it's rough. It's got the different sizes, too. Now, the difference with these, thanks to Ken, these are hollow. Let me find one that I haven't used yet. I've used them all. Here's one. I've used them all. Okay, they're hollow. And then the little pieces will come out right there. Okay, so that makes it so much easier and so much cleaner. Cleaner punches, you know what I mean? See right here, this, this top one? This was with the other type. And it just doesn't go all the way through. That punches right through. All right, let's try this, uh, let's try this punch. Okay, I just put the uh, punch in there. The only thing that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I've got, I got all the time in the world. You know what I mean? Okay, I had to set the height on it because it changed on this. I put the punch in. This is what I filed down the nail head on. You see this little opening here? What I was doing all this time, all these weeks, is punching this with a hammer and that is rough that is rough you put it on a piece and then the little pieces come out the side here but what we're gonna do okay is gonna slide the leather right here 
and then I'm gonna push it through. Oh, wow. That is something. Check that out. Look how clean that is too. Now these holes are for the eyelets. Now this is size, uh, I believe the size five, and I could go to six, but I leave it at five, and I'll show you what I do. When I put my eyelets in, just to make it a little bit easier, is I'll take a, this size Phillips, it, it just seems to work, and I'll kind of like punch it. See, I just slide it through. It just gives it that little stretch right there. And one of the biggest things I've learned about leather, it is forgiving, it's stretchable, it's, it's skin. All right, let's see what else. Okay, I've been practicing. I feel good with it. Uh, to make a, a straight line, I, I got something figured out for that. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, this, uh, where were they? These things right here, man. That's what I was using before. You not only, it kind of like scores it really, it punches through, okay? But to get a clean cut, I was taking this and had to push it on through, push it through. This was killing my hands and, and, and with this. And that's what took so long, okay? So I won't have to do that. I'll save the tools, of course. Um, it might work on the press. It's just this thing right here is such a clean hole. Look at that. Just nice clean holes. Let me show you the there they are. That's the ones I did right there. All the see now you see through. These two right here. Okay, that's gonna be so much easier on uh on sewing. And this thing is a game changer, that punch. So but what I need, I got the grill press. I got my $10 leather thing. I just get need to get the uh, the compound and the uh, burnishing, burnishing tool. And actually I can make my own burnishing tool. I just need to get that compound stuff because every one that I've made, the sheaths, the, sh the uh, sandwiches and the slips, I haven't burnished them all. Uh, the one that really wore nice, I don't have to, is the one I wore every day at work. That Sil FX uh, leather sandwich I did on it. Okay, so I played around with that, and I just looked. This is an update, okay? All I got left, I'm going to save this for a... Uh, this is that thick black leather, and I got enough to do... I could probably do one slip, but I want to save most of this for another sandwich I'm going to do another sheath sandwich. That's what I call it. Okay. So, but I do have this uh, wine color, which is really nice. I like the color because it looks uh, vintage. And I got enough here, I believe. Yeah. See, I got enough here to do a couple of slips. And this, I love that. And that just got scratched up a little bit going in and out of my box. Okay, that's awesome. I might have a mail call. I hear the dogs. That sounds like an Amazon. All right, that's where I'm at. Sog out.